Are you unsure of the ventilator but would really love to learn? Well, let's break it down. Let's talk about ventilation versus oxygenation and what you need to know about the two. So every change you make on the ventilator is doing one of two things. You're either helping ventilate or helping oxygenate. So if your patient's SpO2 is low, we are going to adjust our FiO2 and our PEEP. What is our FiO2? That's just the percentage of oxygen that we're giving from 0 to 100, hopefully more than 21% because that's what we breathe normally. All right. And what's our PEEP? Well, our PEEP is the pressure keeping those alveoli open, helping that oxygenation. So, oh no, you walk into the room and your pulse ox is 80%. And you look at the ventilator and you're like, I can't touch this, but if I could, um, these are the two settings I'm seeing, right? The PEEP at five and the FiO2 at 50%. Now, I don't know what your patient's like, but for the most part, if I walk into the room with a low SAT and I see this 50%, I'm going to go ahead and increase that. I might even go all the way to 100% just to make sure that I'm oxygenating well. Now let's discuss ventilation. So ventilation is your CO2, whether that be in a blood gas or an end tidal CO2, whatever one. Now, if your CO2 is high, we need to breathe faster and bigger breaths. If your CO2 is low, we need to breathe slower and shallower breaths, okay? Think about it. You're breathing off the CO2. So the faster you breathe, the more CO2 goes away, or the bigger you breathe, the more CO2 goes away similar concept. All right, so let's go back to the ventilator. So you walk into the room and you see this end tidal of like 70. You're like, whoa, that's really high. Okay, I really need to try to get some of that off or you see that on a BBG or whatever. All right, the two settings we're going to use to affect that are your tidal volume or your VT and then your respiratory rate. Okay, so you walk in, you're like, oh man, this is a big dude. Why is he only breathing 300 mils per breath? That's kind of a little bit. So we'll go ahead and up that to 350, and then we can get, go ahead and take a look under controls and see, oh, wow, our rate's only 12. He's a COPD, or maybe we should up that. Maybe it'll help him breathe off that CO2 so we can even up that to like 18. Uh, that will allow us to breathe off that CO2 and vice versa. If it was really low, we'd want to slow down those two settings, okay? All right, so in summary, to fix oxygenation, you're going to adjust your FiO2 and your PEEP, and to fix ventilation, you'll do your tidal volume and your respiratory rate. All right, have a good one. Uh, Follow for more tips.